Welcome back to Physics with Miyoshi. Today we are going to talk a little bit about um, inertial reference frames. And we have our little magic square here. If I was a uh, special effects guy and could put a little uh, picture in there moving, we would uh, be seeing a row of cars or something going by uh, at, a, at a constant velocity. And you wouldn't know whether those cars going by were actually going at a constant velocity or whether we were going at a constant velocity that way. Um, and that's the thought process of an initial reference frame. The fact of the matter is if we were in a car, and, and you've felt this before, if you were in a car and there were no bumps in the road, there was no uh, sound going on, you wouldn't know whether the uh, scenery going by was actually going by you and you were standing still or whether you were standing, uh, whether you were going and the scenery was standing still. You've ex maybe even experienced it when you're on the freeway and you hear somebody say, ooh, that car passed me like I was standing still. Well, that's a, an example of inertial reference frame because it is very similar to you standing still, uh, that car going past, or uh, these cars going the other way if we had them in our memory or in the picture instead of just in our uh, brains. So. Uh, think about inertial reference frames. They often talk about them in terms of um, thought experiments with spaceships and that kind of thing. But uh, it is really real. Just remember, as you're driving along in your car at a constant rate of speed, um, something about inertial reference frames that uh, it is like you're standing still. And uh, think about physics and inertial reference frames and enjoy the scenery as it goes by just as if you were standing still. Uh, thanks for tuning in for Physics with Miyoshi and we'll be uh, talking about lots more cool physics stuff and Newton's laws of motion. Next time.